Welcome back to Between the Sharks. Today we are going to review our hot tub project. See what we got, see what we did with it, and finally at the end we'll see how much it cost. Let's begin. Pardon the motor noise, I just wanted to show you that it's running. So when I purchased this for $100, the guy selling it told me the jets work. Now, here they are working. It also turns out that, you know, these air thingies do indeed work. Our spooky little red LED light comes on and off. Our jet button works kind of. Sometimes it's debatable. I don't know. We'll see. And then finally, our thermostat works. It also appears that it will in fact heat a little bit or maintain a little bit of heat so I don't know if the heater is worn out or if it's full of scale I really don't know how these things work I haven't looked into it but it may not be a total failure the way that it is however this is not my ideal way to heat it but it is kind of a nice perk because I can turn off my sump pumpy contraption while we're in the hot tub and it doesn't lose heat as fast as a guy would think our hot tub cover, that was part two, 75 bucks, not too bad. It seems to be keeping heat in very well and keeping rain out and leaves out. So we're gonna call it a success. It's very lightweight. A guy can just kind of one hand it even. Let's see if we can do this. All right, fine, I blur witched you a little bit. Our current heating system functions like this. It's not uh, like, you know, there's plenty of room for improvement. Sump pump pumps water through the hose over to our Camp Lux. This is the second model up. They make one lower gallon per minute unit. Don't remember the spec. I'll try to write it down if I remember it or put a little, you know, magical set of words there. As soon as the water flows from the sump pump, this automatically turns on so long as the propane cylinder is open. It will light itself, it pumps the water back out through this black hose and into our hot tub. This thing works like gangbusters. Now let's break it down piece by piece. The tub itself was advertised with a working pump and a bad heater. The pump does work, that would have been a 200 and change expense i did some research uh was 100 dollars, and fortunately i have a truck the dude helped me load it and i was able to unload it myself so 100 bucks if you've got a truck you're good if not you owe buddy some beer if they've got a truck on top of that this unit is actually still available for sale for 3200 dollars. it came with a carton of chemistry which is worth well over the hundred dollars that i paid for it Fortunately, because that's an expense you're going to have to add to it if you don't get a bunch of free chemicals. The chemistry itself sort of kind of paid for the hot tub. The lid, out of pocket, 75 bucks. That was two sheets of two inch rigid foam, which was the thickest I could get locally. Our two inch foam lid seems to be working just fine. Last but not least, our heating element, a tankless propane water heater. It's portable. It ignites with two DC cell batteries. It was 200 bucks. Uh, I dig it. There were a couple of options on heating this. Like I said, this thing is still being made. So in theory, I could have repaired the heater in there or bought a new heater, probably for the same price. We could have jumped way up and got a natural gas heater that hooked up to the house through the actual natural gas lines. But there's a lack of safety on this thing that is actually an added benefit for our hot tub relative to a real decent unit that you put on your house. And that is this seems to have no temperature cap on it. I've gotten it up to 160 degrees, which is kind of scary if you ever wanted to take this camping or had kids around or whatever. So just be aware of that. I'm out of pocket, 200 bucks. Now, the other elements in the system are two hoses. Let's call that 25 bucks. And I am using a sump pump to run the water out of this and into the heater. Now there's a couple options here. 
in the future, I would like to run it through a regular pump coming out of the hot tub drain so I don't have anything in the hot tub. However, once this is hot, that whole sump pump system comes out and that heating unit is off and the water stays plenty warm for a long period of time. If you don't have one of those on hand, you're talking about a hundred bucks no matter what way you slice it, unless you're really clever and you decided to plumb into the existing pump. Thanks, Doug. Dog's here. She has a lot to say about this. If you decided to plumb in the original pump to pump water out and into your heater, that would probably work. I just didn't want to have this pump running all the time. I wanted to be able to cycle the water without this thing running. I don't know why. 100 bucks out of pocket on the hot tub itself, 75 bucks out of pocket on the lid, 200 bucks out of pocket for the heating elements. If you didn't have any of the stuff I had, the truck, the plastic, the hoses, the pump, I think if you rounded up 300 bucks, you'd be, you'd be there. So I'm in at 375, 675. I mean, it's not bad, but that's only if you have no advantages. I mean, maybe if you buy one with a lid, there's some ways to get it back. Uh, because 375 bucks is, I think, a pretty good deal. That's not no money. Getting into the $600 range, that stings a little bit. So you might have to get a little clever. And then, you know, beyond that, I guess if you're, if you're wrapping your mind all the way around it, though, the fact that this thing is still on the market at $3,200 and I can buy replacement parts if I ever need them, even 600 bucks might not be so bad. So... Anyway, that's the reality of what it cost the way I did it. And uh, good luck out there if you want to try this. I think this is a totally repeatable process. Just uh, be patient, you know? I think the one of the best things that you can do is wait until the right deal comes up on a hot tub. A, either it's free, or B, it's cheap and comes with some working goodies. A pump, chemicals, a lid, you know, the stuff that you need to make the thing. So... Anyway, like always, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time when we do something else ridiculous on Between the Sharks.